good afternoon and welcome back to Quest 3DS. I'm going after a whole set of PAL 3DS games and I want to take you along on my journey of expense. Right, so what we've learned is there's about 500 games in the PAL 3DS library and uh, I want to get one of each. And um, obviously not caring too much about money or space, it would seem. Let's get started with the selection of five games this time around. So in the order that I've sort of brought these in, uh, we have one that's quite difficult to get and one that I didn't know existed because it didn't come out in the United Kingdom. And that is uh, The Secrets of the Titanic, I think this says. Yeah, The Secrets of the Titanic. Titanic, yeah, The Secrets of the Titanic. Uh, 1912 to 2012. So, um, yeah, it's um, quite an interesting sort of like uh, hidden object type game, uh, which the 3DS is absolutely littered with these sort of things. And this... I think it's one of three Titanic games that are on the 3DS. They really had a thing for the for Titanic and Nintendo at this point. Um, yeah, it, this could be really expensive. This could be a really, really expensive game. Now, if you get sellers in the UK that are selling this game, they can, they're can they charging balmy prices for this. I think I saw a listing for £130 for this. And um, I managed to go onto eBay in France after putting this on my alert list. And I think I found it for about twelve euros. This, and I managed to get a combined postage rate um, from the same seller for actually a few games that I needed off off him in particular. And uh, so I ended up saving quite a bit on what would be quite a mammoth postage rate on this. So this was one of the games that was in the package. So Titanic two thousand twelve, nineteen twelve, two thousand twelve. Um, inside, you can expect to find uh, like sort of a pamphlet slash booklet thing. And obviously cartridge. And the next one that came in that bundle of games is um, Inazuma 11 Go. Uh, I think this is Go Shadow. Now, it's, uh, it says Go Ombre on the front, which uh, it's, comes, it's come from France. So, you know, whatever that, that word is, has been translated from French. Um, and sadly, it's the same here. So if you're not wanting... Um, other localised versions of games, you probably have to go with the Inazuma set of getting the ones for the UK uh, because the the text is different on the boxes and that might really bug you as well as the text not being in English on the back of the box. I'm not bothered because on the inside you'll notice that um, it's, you know, the cartridge is exactly the same text as you get with a UK copy. I'm not that bothered. I'm going to strike it off the list and just put that down to a win. That was... Um, I think 14 euros, again, from the same seller as the Titanic one. Um, I saved quite a bit of money, really, because I think CEX over here will try and sell you that for 35 or 40 quid. So um, quite a saving just for taking the hit on it, not having English text on it, uh, in my view, is a win. So I'm not fussy. Not fuss pot. Um, the next one up is another Inazuma game that I got, and this one is uh, Inazuma 11.3 Lightning Bolt. Uh, or Fodri Celeste, I think, on the on the cover in there. <laughs> but so again, yep, text is different on there. It's French, uh, pink triangle. And um, this, again, is a game, it's not like the most expensive in a Zoom game. You can get it for about sort of 35 odd quid um, if you really want to be patient and wait for an English uh, sleeved copy. Uh, but again, I'm not bothered. And um, yeah, it's all sort of for the bean counter. But, uh, as you can see, sort of English text on the cartridge there, which is what you'll find is the case for anything you import from a different country that did come out in the UK. Uh, the cartridge seems to favour having the UK text on it. Um, don't know quite why, because, you know, Britain, we're quite a small little island. You stubbornly speak English, but whatever. Um, next one up is Hello Kitty Picnic. This didn't come out in the UK, so... Um, one that can be easily overlooked. And I think there's about four or five Hello Kitty games on the 3DS itself. And uh, this is the one which is probably the most obscure. Um, don't really know what quite what you do in it. Um, just looks like it's sort of like little mini games and 2D drawn sort of cartoony stuff. But um, yeah, the Sanrio stuff always seems to uh, have quite a following anyway. So that's why they keep making their, their Hello Kitty games and stuff like that. Um, inside you've got a VRP code, a little booklet and your cart as well. And um, yeah, the text on the back of the box is French, but everything else really is uh, is English. And the cartridge does play in English as well. So 
quite why it didn't get released in the UK is a mystery, but maybe they thought, oh, we've released four Hello Kitty games, let's not do a fifth one. But, um, start from the bottom, now we're here. Um, the last one is one that I got on eBay, and it's Inazuma Go um, Chrono Stones Thunder Flash. I get so confused with all these Inazuma games, there's just there's so many of them. Uh, I think I've only got one more left to go, which I think is the the counterpart to this one. Um, and um, this was the most more expensive one because CEX seems to want 85 quid for this. And uh, I managed to get it on eBay um, for £56 through bidding. And it's actually in really, really nice condition. The box feels really great condition. Um, it's a it's a UK copy, which is good. And um, yeah, you've got the got the sort of the booklet in there and sort of pamphlets and stuff and cartridge and um yeah glad to strike that one off the list so once i get the last of the inazuna games out the way i'm gonna have to go after the three yokai games which i don't have because um there's uh they're really expensive the blasters games jesus h wept they're expensive and need psychic specters as well which um was a cheap game now it's really expensive but we'll get to that later on down the line what i'm going to do in the next episode is i'm going to do probably five sort of filler games because i've been buying expensive games recently and it just needs to cool it for a sec i'm spending so much money on these 3ds games um trying to gun through the set so i just need to take my time a little bit more and get a bit more reserved because i'm gonna to have to go after things like shin Megami tensei apocalypse and um there's uh two etrian odyssey games uh nexus and there's another one with a blue cover, which the name escapes me, but that's super expensive. So I might make it my mission if I'm going to go for a heavy hit to go for that one first. And then anything else that I buy is uh, is cheap. <laughs> but anyway, right, so there we are. That's a collection update. Uh, I think that puts us to about 357 games now. So not far off the entire set now. And uh, certainly the end is in sight. So let's uh, tune in next time and see where we get to, shall we? Ta-ra.